What's going on, everybody? Straight from Dream Talks here, and we're here for crew cast number 26. Now, today might be one of the best crew casts of all time. Dare I say it. We're expecting a guest to show up later on in the podcast. If it doesn't happen, then I'm sorry for false advertising in the beginning. But uh, this podcast was actually supposed to go up last week. Uh, we recorded an hour and 45 minutes of content, but it ended up not being recorded. Bad YouTuber. So it was, it was, it was awful. It was my fault. Kind of like how everything's my fault. But anyway, we got a full building full of boys here today. Um, it looks like we're on black.com, except we are white, and we're all <laughs> gathered up here today for a great podcast. Colge, you're in the building. What's up, dude? Nothing. I'm just having the best day of my life. Have you ever been on black.com? I personally have never even heard of it. You never heard of black.com? I was so so, so can you elaborate on what uh, black.com is? Okay, so obviously no racism, so don't take that out of context. But black.com is an actual website. You have to pay to go on it, but it's where tiny white girls get gang banged. Oof. And you've paid a couple times, I've never paid, but I've definitely seen the memes, and there's some free versions on X videos. He's paid for some premiums, though. Yeah, a couple times. (laughs) (laughs) I can personally say I've never paid for any kind of pornography. Never. Never paid for porn. You no. never, you never even bought like a like a Playboy under the table like in your younger years. My dad bought it for me. That's fair. <laughs> My first one, I personally never bought it. So you never bought your Playboys, but they were always in the facility. Yeah, I've never, or I guess technically. My 18th birthday, I bought a Playboy. Oh, so yeah, so you did buy some pornography. Te- uh, technically, it's not porn. What? Yeah, it's just yeah, it is. It, that's porn. porn is, is, that's the original porn. You're whacking porn. off to yeah, it. It's true. porn. I wasn't whacking off to it at 18. At 18, I had a girlfriend that would fuck me. <laughs> not often. Golden. <laughs> when I was 18. Oh, when you were 18. Sorry, that was. Not when I was fucking 20 or. 19, mm. I don't remember. I don't fucking know. Maybe. I don't know. Your timeline's all skewed. It's just like that TikTok I made. You're definitely <laughs> the most mysterious. <laughs> definitely not. Yes, you definitely are. Out of the whole are. entire crew, you're definitely the most mysterious. Yeah. Ha. For sure. You never know what the fuck you're doing. We don't know who you're with. We don't know who you're talking to. I feel like your parent half the time, because I'm curious. I'm just, I was like, I just want to know what you're doing. There's just no way. You guys never know what I'm doing. That's true, but no one gives a fuck what you're but doing. But you're always asking us to go to the golf course, so we know what you're doing. You're golfing or you're at the country club asking us to come get some drinks. And That's why in the TikTok your quote was, That's anybody want to hit up the country club? That's yeah. literally just recent. Anyway, Cam, you're well, in the Well, yeah, building. that is true, but that's been like the last, like, at least two months. No. Two weeks. No, uh, no. Maybe three uh, I've only been there for a month. month. I've only been there, only been there for a month and a half. Yeah, yeah it hasn't so worked for like two weeks. It's been two weeks since you have worked. And here's another thing: is like we know you're actively searching. Like Colton, we don't even know what he's doing. Colton could have had a girlfriend searching. for the last year and a half. Well, we I mean, don't like you like it to come, whatever. True. But it's just. But y'all, serious. y'all just not already hitting it all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's all. I tell Barnes yeah. one thing, and he tells the whole crew. Yeah. <laughs> because I, it's, I do this all the time, but it's funny because Colton still tells me shit. Yeah. So it's just like, what's going on? No. Anyway, so it's going funny. back to Cam, Cam's in the building, and um, we had we had we had a talk in the crew cast. The screenshots will be posted right here. But we had a discussion. Well, Cameron started the discussion of this awesome surprise he had. This awesome, <laughs> dope surprise he had at the house. Now, I was before, hyped. yeah, before we get into uh, Cameron's side of it and we reveal what the surprise was, I want everybody that's here to kind of, you know, elaborate on what they thought it was. Me personally, I, you know, and I didn't think he would do this per se, you know, because like my mind was racing. I was at lunch at work. I thought he bought a TV or something for the, for the living room, and I was like, oh, that would have been cool. A dope TV. Colt, what did you think it was? I thought he bought a fucking a basketball hoop like we were talking about. Not like one of those Nerf ones, but like... Oh, obviously yeah. Obviously not oh, one. Oh, yeah. Not I totally like forgot a, about Not that. like a real, real no, one. I'm, I'm going to Big Five for that tomorrow. But like a, like a smaller one that you can hang up like in a doorway or yeah. something. That's what I honestly thought. Because I thought it was that because me, myself, and Cameron were 
we went to Walmart and tried to buy one, but they were all too big yeah. or too small or too small. So are we? So is it? Is it gonna be like hung up? Like right? Yeah, right up there. Yeah. So yeah. it's just in like a regular hallway kind of deal, and like it's it's not gonna be like. Remember that small one I had in my basement? Yeah. It's gonna be much bigger, bigger than yeah. that. But. You know what's gonna be cool is like we could make freaking like videos like while we're like intoxicated of people coming out of the bathroom and just dunking on them. Oh, dude, that's gonna be lit. Dude, yeah, that's the only thing I'm scared of. I'm scared of getting dunked. I'm scared. Of, no, I'm scared when we put it on because I'm gonna screw it in and people dunk on it. They're gonna dunk really rip hard. It out. It's just gonna I'm rip gonna, it out the wall. You're not allowed to like, hang on the fuck. rim. <laughs> you're not allowed to dunk unless you've been. Just trained. take a sharpie. <laughs> just no hanging on the rim. On you the have to be board. dunk certified to be able to dunk. Or make sure you have to go through the cruise class of dunk certification. That's yeah. the only thing I'm worried about. Cameron and myself are going to be the first instructors. Yep. Just make sure you, like, get it. Bryce is going to be the first person to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think Bryce is going to break it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go way too hard. If anything. Right? Yeah. Oh, if anyone's going to break it, it's probably going to be Jameson. Yeah, I would say Jameson. Yeah, I'm not true. very destructive. Jameson's not going to be certified, and he's just going to dunk on somebody. Doesn't even know. matter who it is. Bryce will always person. be ripping. Sh- Hold on, is it Bryce? Yeah, it's Clint Thompson. Shirts. Yeah, Bryce will always be ripping shirts. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's gonna come in with a freshly bought Clay Thompson if he jersey. Comes to, it's over. WSU jersey. <laughs> it is literally over. I'm not kidding. I'm three for three on shirts with Terry. Not on purpose. Terry. I wouldn't even it's ever forget it's the one. Jameson goes into a mode where he gets like, like beast mode status. Like I'm just gonna go super hard do everything in my power to just be good. And so, like, sometimes it just gets competitive. So three I'll never forget one. the one time he ripped the one, his Clay Thompson shirt, like, right at his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that night we all stayed up all fucking night. And we played football at, like, 7 in the morning in Colton's backyard. At my place and we were yeah, still true. up. Yeah. We used to always do that. Stay up late and just... Play Fuge at my house. I'm just going to Camelot. Or do it like random yeah. things. Oh, like classics. pork chops or Camelot. Yeah, runs. so yeah, we used to have this uh, this elementary school that was close by. We'd never play in the fields. We'd play like... The concrete. The dude. concrete. So it was like half concrete. Half it, was, it was probably like two-thirds concrete. And it's just like third. a bunch of like sidewalks intercrossing each other. And between all the sidewalks is just grass. And yeah. right in the middle of all these intersections of... Crossways is a big tree. And they cut that and, down recently. Oh, oh really? did they? Yeah. Oh, no. That was a national But, animal. like, it's in the middle between, like, three buildings. No, it was, it was like, four or five. Oh, I yeah. I think it was four buildings. There's, like, a main office, third, fourth, and then the others. And we used to just play. And then, like, we would, uh, we would, like, run around that tree. Yeah. And we would try to, uh, just juke each other out. Yeah, I mean, and one of the most memorable stories, I think, of going to Camelot, for me at least, was, I remember Cam was there, and, and Chad was there too, it was a weird time, Chad I was remember, there. oh, dude, and then this the, was good. And then we were playing, and like, there's a fence where, it, like, obviously you can see oncoming traffic. No, wait, it wasn't a fence, it was just the front. Oh locked. yeah, the front, yeah. And you can see, like, cars coming by, and it's like 2am, and this was back in 2016 when clowns... And this dude came in straight up wearing a clown mask, and I just remember Chad there going, three of them. Dude, it's a clown! And <laughs> I'm not even gonna front. I was a little stoned. I was scared. <laughs> but, and I remember the rest of us were just like, Let's go! go we started like chasing after him. <laughs> it, it, it was just in a pickup or something. Yeah, it was, was like, like in the back seat. Yeah, backseat. and we all started chasing it like we were cool kids or whatever. Did you see the documentary of how that got started? It's no, on Hulu. I didn't. Ooh, I'm gonna watch it. I forgot what the guy's name was, but uh, so it got started based off of this thing in I think it was Indiana, and uh, this clown would uh, parents would pay this clown to scare their children mm-hmm. and he would hide like like in this one video he'd hide under like her bed and like scare her in the middle of the night and he'd get paid like six hundred dollars right his name was giggles that's what it was his Jesus. Was giggles and uh they end up killing people huh no, no. he didn't no he literally he made did. a killing with he just, money man. yeah he made hella 
fucking racks just scaring kids. I pay someone to scare my kids. Where are scaring kids. Not and under a, a bed. Well, though. not under a bed. That's kind of... And he probably had per- he, he probably had permission to do No, that. yeah, he had well, insane permission. But, but still, and, that's and, weird. And he ended up going on trial for that, and then like all the parents that paid him to do that like came to his defense. He never got jail time. But he actually lives in a trailer in like the middle of the woods. Like he's a total woods person. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't have a house, and it's like I don't know how you can make that much money. And he like in his trailer, he has like one of those. Old, you remember my old room back when I had like that box TV? Yeah. Yeah, so he had, like, a box TV and, like, a cable antenna, and he's just this fat old dude, and he just fucking got paid to scare kids, and then it started that whole clown trend of uh, people scaring people with the clown Clown makeup and the clown masks and stuff, and then people actually started killing people, so that's kind of why he got a bad rap, was because people started killing people, because people uploaded their YouTube videos of him scaring the kids, and never got, like, proper context. Yeah. It was just a clown, you know, scaring a little girl. Anyway, so we got majorly off topic. Anyway, Barnage, what did you assume that uh, Cameron's surprise was? Okay, so, like, the whole week before Cameron, like, got this, we were, like, talking in our group chat about, like, PSPs the whole week because there's a bunch of stuff going on with, like, the Nintendo Switch, games coming over. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, and just a bunch of stuff. And I was like, I just wish PSP would have been released later, like... It would have been released somewhat now. I think it would have done a lot better, and they could have done better with their technology. It wouldn't have been so like rough as the PSP was. The PSP was, dude. I didn't even think it was rough. Personally, I loved it. Oh, the PSP had a lot of issues. There was a lot of issues with. I know, like watching YouTube videos, like I saw like everything explained. But when I was a kid and I had a PSP, I didn't give a fuck. I enjoyed the shit. It was cool, but like I just thought like it was way ahead of its time. I just thought maybe Cameron hunted one down and got one, and I was just like, that's kind of interesting. I haven't seen. I have one still, but it's. It it doesn't work. It was dropped in a uh, too many viruses. Some water. At no, it was dropped in water. My little sister, when she was a baby, she grabbed it and she dropped it in the dog bowl. Really? Yeah. Out of all places. Yes, and it pissed me off so much. And it was like a custom PSP two. It was all uh, it was Green Bay Packers colors. Oh really? Yeah, it was custom made. My dad ordered it, and it's just like no, I still have it. It just doesn't work. For real though, the PSP was way ahead of its time. Like, honestly, it was so much fun. But, so, I come home from work, and I've been thinking about this basically all day. So, my new job, and I guess we, we might talk about it a little later, I don't know. But my new job, you know, is just kind of like, you're just by yourself, you're doing the same shit all the time. So, like, I was just thinking, like, all day, I was like, I wonder what this is. Because Cameron, Cameron doesn't just get excited about this kind of stuff for no reason. So, I come home, I knock on his door, and I go, hey, bro. What do you got, Cameron? Finish the story. I tell him. I'm like, open your eyes, dummy. It's right there. And he's like, what? And I'm like, well, you don't see the cage? And he's like, oh, shit, what's in the cage? I'm like, oh, shit, look in the cage. I was like, you got a hamster cage? Cool. <laughs> and it turns out to be, there's a little teddy hamster in there. Yeah, yeah. A little teddy little hamster, a little small little guy. A little teddy Ursa. Uh, yeah, call my te- Pokemon fans call out my, there. Call him a little teddy Steve. Now, I was definitely, it was definitely a lukewarm reaction for me, like, at first. But then, you know, I seen him in his ball, he's a cute little guy. But you see, and the one saving grace about it that I was really excited about was Cameron just kept saying, it has three tails, it has three tails. I was like, dude, badass, it has three tails? So Ashley grabs it, and then we're looking at it, and we're like, where's, like, the other two tails? And he's like, doesn't it look like it has three tails? I'm like... So it doesn't have three tails. <laughs> so so the whole thing for me went from like a 6 out of 10 to a 4 out of 10. But uh, it definitely got more exciting as uh, time went on. And uh, we got to meet the little guy. And um, speaking of which, we're going to take a quick break here to continue the podcast. And uh, don't take this as a break where we're going to play a game. But the special guest that we have has just arrived in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for the second part of the podcast. And we're back for the second part of the crew cast. Like I said, there's going to be uh, two breaks in this podcast, obviously one more for when we go and play a game. And again, if you want to sponsor this great podcast, I've actually gotten two emails recently. We've been going back and forth, and I appreciate your guys' business, and hopefully we get closer on closing a deal. But again, if you're interesting, interested 
in sponsoring this awesome podcast with awesome friends. Uh, email me at trevanp at gmail.com. That's T-R-E-V-A-N-P at gmail.com. And a <coughs> new guy that is in the building and here for the crew cast is a guy they've never met you. I, I'm telling you, the one podcast we did, everybody got way too drunk and said too many wild things, so I didn't end up uploading it. But he's in the building. Jameson! Dude, it's good to have you on the channel finally. How you doing? Doing good. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic as always. Now, we were just fucking starting up talking about Cameron's hamster. He's going to shove it up his ass. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of, that was my first reaction. That's, that's so fucked up. That's what I was that's so, that's I what I, so if you had a hamster, you'd shove it up your ass. Cat. Cat, so you wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. That's so it was a cat. No, no, he said cat. He said, uh, no, dude. If, if Jameson cat, eats cats. A cat would be a new shit, dude. That'd be wild. Imagine dude. shoving a whole cat up your ass, dude. That's fucked up. That's so fucked the up. The two people that wanted to sponsor this podcast are going to pull out after you said that you can shove a cat up your ass. Who's that? Me. Dude, I can't disclose it right now. Me. Official, but yeah. Dude, that'd be crazy, though. Dude, I hope not. Dude, who, who all here would do that for a thousand no. bucks? No, no, no. For a thousand no, bucks? A cat? No. All right, no. How, how about your 1,200 COVID check that you're getting from the government? No, it's only... A, no. It's only no. I'm just getting... What? Jameson, I won't even let you fuck me in the ass for twelve hundred dollars. You wouldn't? No. Why? Because. Dude, I did this greasy shit. It's not worth it. You let Jameson take a picture of your butthole. What greasier stuff did you do? You guys didn't see the paw hanging out with the cat in it. You guys didn't see the paw hanging out. The fuck are you talking about? Let's talk about that picture. (laughs) What picture? With the cat. CC taking a picture of his. Oh. Yeah, yeah there's a cat. Remember, the paw was hanging out. No, I was too busy staring in the abyss that was your asshole. <laughs> that was what I'm saying. Dude, <laughs> you had both hands spread in the cheeks, bro. Yeah, you had both Dude, there was hands. a paw hanging out, though. No, there wasn't. <laughs> I inspected <laughs> every single centimeter of that picture. You okay, studied. so for context for everybody, um, we have a group chat. We have a group chat on Facebook and Snapchat. Um... I personally don't use Instagram to message anybody. I don't know if you guys do. Mm, once no. or twice. Like, I've, I've messaged not people. My, not my boys. Like, I send pictures on Instagram, but I don't, like, have regular conversations on Instagram. But we have a Snapchat group. And one day... It wasn't even on Snapchat. It was on, it was like, it was on Snap. It, no, it was, it was on, on Snap. No, it oh, was dude, on, it was, it was it on was, Facebook. It was taken it was on, on Snap, Facebook. but I sent it to yeah. Messenger. Yeah, you sent yeah. it through Messenger. Oh. Because, like, what happened was... Me, or so Arturo, Jameson, and I were playing video games. That was games. such beautiful grammar. Man. I know, I try. <laughs> but uh, we no, were no. playing online in a party, and Jameson's just like, out of nowhere, he's all, you want to see a picture of my asshole? And we're like, what? Yeah, and he's like, yes. yeah, James, CC took a picture of it. And we're like, sure. And he sends it to me and Arturo. So un- you're the reason we had to un- suffer through that. Uncensored. Uncensored. <laughs> Um, Nothing. He didn't. Even, plus. He didn't even like scribble out anything. Like all Jameson was wearing was white long socks. That's all he was wearing. And he just had both hands spread. In the, he was spread in the cheeks, and it was just. We all thought. Me and Arturo just thought it was hilarious, and we were just like, "You just, you should send it to the crew chat." And he's just like, "Should I really?" We're like, "Yeah." And like Jameson sends it to the crew chat, but he takes it and he scribbles out everything, but his butthole. And it's just hilarious because like he didn't scribble out the edges enough, so you could just see his like white socks and then a butthole. It's just hilarious. I just can't even imagine like being that close to my girlfriend to the point where I'd be like, "Babe, can you take a picture of my <laughs> asshole?" Like, I would never ask Ashley to do that. Even, like, my ex, dude. We were together forever. I would never... It's, it's funny, no. too, because he was, like... He was on his knees with his face full of pillow with his hands just back spreading it. Just like, yeah. bro. <laughs> that was honestly the most sus thing Jameson's done. I'm, I'm, trying, to th- I'm trying to think, like, the most sus thing everybody else has done. I sent a cringy picture of me holding a fucking... Thing the other day that was fucking one of the most. Yeah, I still I thought it was hilarious, but it definitely was cringy though. Yeah. But that's good though. Like, shits, though. like you gotta dude, be not, like dude, every, yes, every friend nothing, group sends pictures dude, of each other taking there, shits. There's oh, literally yeah. nothing wrong with being cringy though. Like, fuck it, be cringy. It's just 
you're having if you're having fun, just do it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, it was just funny because I still thought it was funny, but it, yeah. it was just like one of those things. Like God, <laughs> it was a, it was the context. The context was <laughs> hilarious. What was needed? Yes. It made Cameron rush home. I mean, fucking a. He he was he, he was fucking shook. But um, anyway, so we're here into the second part of the crew trial. As uh, as you can tell, that audio kind of faded because Jameson doesn't know how to fucking park a car, so he had to take. Dude, three motherfuckers had to move their car for us. Like, shoot, I literally couldn't even move. Shit, been fine. Really? <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, fucking one girl was kind of complaining about it. She's like, I don't know why I had to move. Like, oh, all right. Yeah. So okay, explain the situation out there. <laughs> What was Whoa! Like, real bitch, dude. You don't yeah. need to say that word you said just then. I don't know if the audio picked up on that. I didn't even hear it. Yeah, I say, didn't hear that. You what said the it? c word. Did you? Did you say this? Okay, let's talk about the c word. Bullshit. Let's talk Replay. about play. Let, I literally didn't say one word. Let's talk you about the c, c word. word. I didn't. I don't see anything wrong with the c word. That's People over in Britain and whatever they say it all the time. Why can't we say it? It's just a word. Yeah, is there favorite. any is there any word that you hear that either makes your skin crawl or cringe? Moist. Other, other I love the word, word moist. moist. Moist doesn't even I feel I like that that's word. that's so mainstream. If you say I moist makes word. you fucking like cringe, then you're just a follower. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like the word moist doesn't somebody from my own I think uh, because of someone what? Remember Karen? She hates that shit. She hates the word moist. Yeah. That's one thing. She also hated her hair being played with. I did that show on purpose. Do you mean moist towelettes? Towelettes is kind of a fucked word. I don't really like that that much. One word I hate, it's not even a word because it's just like Arturo would say it all the time. And I just hate it is because he would say swag. He'd be like, I get so much swag. It's like, shut up. Swag? Yeah, he's like, sir, I say swag different. He'd be like, swag. He'd try to put an E in there. It's like, shut up. I hate you. Maybe it's his accent changing it. No. It was no. just annoying. No. Basically, just like, the C word is like the worst word ever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. The cunt doesn't Are really you guys watching me. Tiger King? No, Everyone not. watches it. Come on. Dude, I, I saw like the preview of it, and I was like, this shit looks kind of dumb. Dude, it's it, I, It's yes. not it's great. It looks, I watched like the so first like, 10 funny. minutes, and like some guy lost his arm, and I was like, this shit looks it's really not that great. I like. It was awful, but it was hilarious. I think it was the meme, so fucking funny, dude. I think yeah. the memes are the funniest. The memes That's are funny. Those girls, those funny. girls probably went outside and realized you were blocking them in. They were probably like Carol fucking Baskin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carol fucking Baskin, dude. That documentary is fucking funny. Dude, is, is it, it serious hilarious. or is it like just like funny? It's like supposed to be serious, but like it's. It's like real life situations. So yeah, it's a Dude, serious. Dude, I'm situation. telling you, like, like Netflix. Rest. Netflix usually has solid documentaries. Like, Dude, that's know. the most solid documentary that. How was the minute. worst one that they've produced in a long time? Like I limited don't series, fucking know. anything. Limited series. Dude, Dude, have you seen Don't Fuck With Cats? That, I love that one. That was, was so right. good. Don't Fuck right. With Cats was terrific. Dude, was the right. ending is so just... It was, I love it. It was, like, it was, it was terrific. Like, it was one of the best documentaries uh, I've ever seen. That was like, no. Was Did you even watch it, Jameson? I watched it. Like, the, the two cats the guy put in a vacuum in it, and then he, like, drowned the cat, and then he ended up killing some people and shit. I was like... How did he get arrested? I didn't watch the ending. Yeah, yeah got, exactly. that's the best part. I got fucking bored. Exactly, he didn't watch the ending. There's there's hella people after him, and I just like this shit's kind of whack because they're just they just kept continuing. Dude, it, it just like the whole documentary made it seem like the guy that actually did it wasn't like actually the guy. Yeah, like the like, ending is a whole huge plot twist. Like this dude who did this, like he planned this like ten years plus in like the past. Like he. He oh, had he this, did this like, years ago? Yeah, like, no, he had it, like, planned. Like, he when he was, like, a teenager, he was, like, telling people he was, like, someone was, like, forcing him to do stuff. And, like, but there was no one actually yeah, forcing exactly. him to do stuff. And then when he, like, started killing these cats, he was, like, someone's forcing me to do it. And everyone was believing him. And, like, the other people, like, back in the past, like, started realizing, they're like, hey, no, he's lying. Like, no one's forcing him to do anything. Dude, during the documentary, I actually believed it. Oh, yeah, I did, too. I yeah. seriously so thought someone end, was then? forcing him to do it. So what happened at the end, then? He actually ended up... Yeah, yeah. he ended up doing it and going to prison, but... How, how was he in prison for? I don't know. I don't remember probably, that. Well, he, he killed people, so he died. Well, he killed someone, yeah. Life, but probably. It's just... It was crazy, because, like, he's just, like... He, 
Did you guys watch the real videos? No, I didn't know. It's fucked. But, like, he's That's just, like, he's so, like, obsessed with himself that it's just, like, he, he, he just, he's stupid. Dude, it's nice. so good. I want to ruin it for someone else, like, the ending, because, like, the best part is him getting captured, like, my opinion. Yeah. Because, like, it's just, like, how he gets captured is just, like, and you're so stupid, but it's just, like, so awesome. Dude, watch the videos. I kind of watch the captures. I mean, like, you, if so you watch it, you, you get a gist of what happens. It, it's, I mean, it's fucked up, but it... There's that's, a lot worse that, happens. That's kind of like one reason why I stopped watching it because I was like, this shit's fucked. Because it made me like want to watch the video. I actually cried. I guess actually it's nasty, dude. Yeah. The whole you know what's even bad is like there's so like he killed a person. Yeah, that's really bad. But there's so many people who do just as bad because they just throw cats in a bag and throw them in the river. That's like, that's just equally as or fucked puppies. up as putting them in a bag and vacuum sucking them. Like. People that put puppies in a black bag. Yeah, and put he them ain't the only one, and that's terrible. terrible. Dude, I'm, I'm <laughs> just whack. Here at the crew cast, we are super anti-animal abuse. True. Yes. Super. I know. Yeah. I know. Fucking the first like couple minutes, Jameson came in here. He's talking about shoving a cat up his ass. But like, I mean, he never would. But I mean, for a thousand bucks, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you how many animals I've saved. Random tell story. me, tell me, tell me a story. <laughs> tell me about some animals that you. Dude, saved. okay, so I, I, there was this Captain cr- Planet. No, so there was like there was this <laughs> crow at McGee, and like there's you this, saved a crow. Yes, dude. Careful. No, here's the thing. There's this crow, and he was like on the ground, and these kids had a metal baseball bat, oh. and they they threw the baseball bat at the bird and hit it. And he couldn't fly away because they broke his wing. Oh, and like I ran okay. over, I ran over there, and I like. Fucking tried to pick it up and it wouldn't let me. And I fucking like told the kids to fuck off, basically. And like I took off my shirt and just threw it over the fucking bird. And like at the time, my mom wasn't home and my grandparents lived like three or four blocks away. And I had to run with this bird with no shirt on, bird wrapped in my shirt to my grandparents. And then like we kept it for a couple days and took it to a uh, fishing game. They. Saved him and oh, got him healthy again. Did you guys get it? No. <laughs> he, got, <laughs> he got released back to the lab. Wow. And then probably a week later, probably got his ass mauled by a fucking hawk or something. Probably. Yeah. I mean, that's just a no, I'm just kidding. life at that point. Mara, uh, but it was just story. fucked up, though. Those kids were, like, hitting this bird with a yeah. baseball bat. I don't, I don't approve of that type of shit. Dude, crows are big birds, too. Yeah. They're not small. No. Okay, so yeah, I'll tell you about this little thing that happened when I was a kid, and it was hella illegal. This kid that was older than me, fucking, we were hunting doves near Man's Lake, and uh, he saw this crow, and his dad told him to shoot it, and he shot it, and it took like 12 shots to kill it. Damn. Dude, crows are crows are tough. Are, you, are those, those are the birds that like... Go around yeah. like dead, but not dead. Well, bodies, no, but dead not, things. not a scavenger. No. It was just, just a, a crow. vulture. A no, vulture. vulture. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> what what kind of what kind of bird is a crow? It's like a black, a black one. No, no, <laughs> isn't, isn't like there's there's. I mean they they they, they eat I'm sure they eat is, meat and stuff. Like they. Do the ones that are just they'll scary. kill. They'll eat roadkill and stuff. This is why we need a Jamie, like a fucking, you know, from uh, from Joe Rogan's podcast that just looks shit up like during the sure. podcast. We need somebody like that. Hey, Google what kind of bird a fucking <laughs> goddamn crow is. Crow is crow. You know, dude. Crow I, ones with like a brown eyes. Dude, uh, there was this uh, parrot that we had when I was growing up. His name was Tango, and we saved him from a, uh, a family that was abusive to him. And he could have lived. He, the, I'm not. They're beating this bird. Dude, He's like, dude, what the fuck, you know, <laughs> dude? But this bird was like, he was a really beautiful bird. He could have lived like until he was like 80. That was like their lifespans. He lived up to like 67 or something like that. But uh, he could have lived and a lot like, longer. And, and parrot ears or yeah, like, real ears, like real ears. 67. Yeah, this bird was old. Damn. And uh, he was really mean. Birds must be like one of the like longest expected like lives of animals dude but like uh he would uh he well, would attack turtles. men because the Sharks. only people that he lived with were with guys so like when i was younger he would like bite me and attack me and stuff and uh i he actually tore a chunk out of my body and my shoulder i have a scar because of it from a parrot yes he tore a chunk that out of my shoulder when i was sleeping i was sleeping he would bite through the metal bars in his <laughs> he cage. fucking bites barn skin off he's like 
motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Fuck you, Bar. Fuck you, Bar. <laughs> like, but, like, since I was around him so much, like, at the end, right before, like, the last couple of years of his life, I was the only person who was able to hold that bird. And, like, he would do a bunch of stuff. It was cool. And, like, he'd, go, he'd do, like, here, kitty, 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 kitty. And we have a bunch of cats. And they would always run over to the birdcage. And we'd fucking... It's so annoying because the birds would try to attack... Or the cats would try to attack the bird. And he'd just keep calling them back. And he's like, kitty, kitty, kitty. He's and he'd like, laugh, too. He'd <laughs> laugh. And then, like... Because the dude who used to abuse him was, like, a heavy smoker. He had, like, this old man cough. Yeah. And, like, one night we were, like, sleeping, like, when we first got him. And we heard this old man, like, coughing in the house. And we thought someone broke in. It was just the bird coughing, like, the old smoker dude. That's so weird. Like, I want to know, like... What goes in, not not what goes into a parrot, but you know how like parrots can say shit. Like yeah. I want to know what goes into like that, like psychologically and like the science behind that. Because this that's something we overlook. How dope is it that a bird can fucking like speak and mimic noises? Well, you you can get you can get dogs and cats to talk too. What? Yeah, dude, my mom can get her dogs to say "I love you." Not even kidding you. Pig. Pig didn't do it, but oh, uh, Budkiss can do it. Budkiss? Can yeah, Budkiss can do it. And then, dude, there's videos all over the place, like cats saying hello and stuff like yeah, that. That's true. Really? I talk to my yeah. dog every day. Dude, how do you do that? Does it just, like, you just gotta say it enough? Or like, like it's just, it's, I don't know. I have no idea. Honestly, I honestly, I want to fuck. I want to have your mom on the do podcast you think I, to explain that. Barnes, do you think if I bought a ta- like a tiger, do you think I could talk to it? No, no. 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 But I mean, they only I mean, did, yes, the actually. best part. The best part of that podcast was figuring out to buy a tiger. You only need two thousand dollars. To think those bulldogs that my parents have, my dad and his stepmom, my stepmom could have bought like five tigers at this point. They pay fucking... Including, like, the price. For all, like, the medical shit that they've gone The to? medical and the Fuck price of the that. dogs. We could have had five tigers. <laughs> five <laughs> tigers. Five tigers. tigers. I did the math on it. We Dude, those dogs are really gonna cost you more fuck that. Those dogs cost, like... That's more, why you should, dog. Those dogs cost more than $2,000 a piece. And then one or two... I don't remember. Either one or two... My dream dog's gonna cost me like three grand. What's your so. dream dog? What's your dream dog? A mass doodle. Oh yeah, you, doodle. dude, that's one of that's like when I actually stopped three. Actually. Dude, dude, it's just see, it's just <laughs> a mastiff with long curly hair that doesn't shed because it keeps the um, standard poodle gene. Hmm. It's awesome. Three thousand. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not really like. There's, big there's on not. Dog there's breeds. not many breeders. That's why hmm. it's not a common dog breed. If you buy two, buy a male and a female. No, I would not breed them. I don't want to breed. Grand. I'm There's not breed. More than a fucking tiger. It's not my thing. It's more than a tiger, though. Hope. I just want one. I just want a dog. Just I want a dog. I want a tiger now. Then go with me. Dude, imagine, go imagine if you have like three tigers. No one's gonna fuck with you. Is so you train? Have you ever? You just, just have a cup of. Yeah, can you like fucking like put this like on the table because like How do you the can't sa- catch it? the sound of the ice is really frustrating me. Thank you, buddy. Goddamn. No, it really grinds my bitch, gears. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Everything Jameson does. Exactly. <laughs> Everything he does the is other girl had, to, had to ask me to like move. It's like, come on. It's like every time I game Dude, with Jameson, it's like, the, Jameson, what the... Yeah. She tapped <laughs> on the window. That scared me. It's so hella hard. hard, too. Like, what the like, how many times will you have to ask Jameson that, Bryce, when we game? We have to ask Jameson what he's doing. No, we have to ask Cameron. Cameron, Cameron will just fucking run off and do his own thing, and then he'll be like... Cameron's our ninja. Over. Cameron's our ninja. He no. he just he thinks he can carry the whole zone. squad by himself in and he'll give himself Cameron killed. will be a whole ass town over. He would be like, "There's guys. You like, guys are literally you guys soft. At? You never push. Where are you guys at? <laughs> you, never, you guys. Ass. You guys always say. Like, you you guys like, say you want to get better. Told me you were but, pushing him, but, but you never, never fight. What you're well, doing. if you can tell, I'm. If you, you can tell, I'm running away. You can tell. How many teams? Look at your map. Look at your map. How many teams solo have I fucked on? You've seen me. F- I'm not talking. Henry. I'm not talking about you, school. I'm not talking about you. squads by myself. Because of our God, Cameron was fired it's up. Because M- the MP7. Well, I'm not talking about you. It don't you. matter. And then I'm Cameron's just like, about it too, I'm gonna push all the way over. I'm not talking about you, Jameson. Okay, it's like, right, I'm pushing. Right. It's like, what do you, mean? Jameson? You've made this podcast worse, I'd say. You just fucking talk. 
You have no and talk over people. You have no awareness either, because like you guys will lock in on one person and then Dude, forget about the whole other a, squad. A town that's over. a part of that one person. <laughs> Cameron will be like, a town over. And he'll just doing? randomly push him. He's like, "I'm dead." I'm like, "What do you? Why are you over there?" All, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Cancel. I swear to God. All right. I'll even buy like a UAV, and you'll just be like, "Okay, oh, yeah, come over here." Can- Canceling the the fucking the Fortnite beef because. To hear more on the Fortnite beef, we have a new podcast coming out hopefully next month because I'm trying to fucking develop it and I'm trying to talk to these boys about it. It's going to be Inside the Party where fucking the boys, Bryce, Barn, Cam, and Jameson, in most cases, are going to be gaming, talking, and it will be live and you guys can watch it, have a fucking blast, and listen to these boys' games. So if you want to hear more of that, stay tuned in a month while we develop that podcast. Anyway... So now, what we gotta talk about is, is something that I really don't have anything control any control over because it was brought up during um, a talk in the crew chat today. And I'm just gonna let Fitz take it over because he's the one that is the, uh, the plaintiff in the this accuser. case. And ladies and gentlemen, today on the crew cast we have our first ever live crew trial. So Fitz, take it away. All right, folks, so we have some big issues here in the crew world. We have uh, a couple of moms that are defying the issues of all crew humanity. Crew humanity, yeah. Crewmanity. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, I'm not kidding you. These guys are. Treve's mom has decided to go to Bud Light as her primary Ooh. beer drinking. Now, Services. now, hold on. Before we do, before we get even deeper into this, hold. What is Bud Light? Trash. Bryce, what's Bud Light? It is fucking bad for you. Barn, what is Bud Light? Bud fucking Light. bullshit. Cam, what's Bud Light? It's shit. Jameson, what is Bud Light? Post Malone drinks it. And it's bad for you. Bryce, bad. continue. All right. So, we already got one mom who's you know in troubled waters, but today, out of nowhere, okay, my mom's not a drinker. She don't she don't drink beer. Yeah, that that's just cool. you know you know it just doesn't happen like that. She's a pretty but nice type I look in this the grocery bag you know and she's she's saying that this lady at her where she nurses talking about a red beer. Ugh. That's and usually I, the That's just either with Kamada or yeah. Um, so I so, juice. so I looked gross. in the bottom bag of the barrel and there is Bud Light. Clamato. No, oh, those are disgusting. First of all, Bud Light. I guess Kelly's on trial too. Yeah. First of all, Bud Light. That's the main issue, and then Kamado's not very good either. No. Both of them. And yeah, combined, I mean, that's just bad. So and I, never... and I made. She, I mean, I made her feel concerned about this. Like she was like, no, what, was, what was the exchange? She, I mean, I was like. Oh no, mom. Bad mom for you. <laughs> you're in fucking trouble, dude. This is not good. <laughs> and she 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 actually kinda took it serious like something was up and I was just like, You're gonna go on fucking crew trial and I can't do nothing for you because you're walking right in on this one. And I sent the pictures to my friends because it's you know, it's not good. It's well, not good. So we're putting why are we putting me on trial? Because. So as as Trevin's defendant, um, Treve is putting getting put on tribal on tri- tribal on trial <laughs> for liking Bud Light, and that's basically the senses that I got. Now let me defend myself here for a second. The assumption that I like Bud Light is complete and utter bullshit. I don't now, think so. Now now as we have discussed openly as a group. And as a crew, Bud Light Platinum gets a pass. Because Bud Light Platinum has, what is it? Excuse me. My defendant? Bud Light Platinum, does it have like 9%? It's like 6.2. 6. That, and that's more than the average okay, beer. Okay, so yeah, so everyone's. No, Samuel getting, Adams, Samuel Adams is 6.5. Treve is getting put on trial for liking Bud Light. And we've put this. This has been a thing in the crew that Bud Light itself. Is not good for you. It's not good beer. It's not good for you. It's just the worst beer you can have. But we've talked about it. Bud Light Lime, Bud Light Platinum is fine. Now the problem with me... Because we've all done it before. The problem that the defendant, I mean the plaintiff, has with me is that Treve likes Bud Light Seltzers. 
Now let me tell y'all. And can I say something here on the, on the behalf of our side here? We would like to say that we have an issue on the fact that uh, of, as of recent, you've probably not had the best health out of the whole group. Okay, yeah, but and that's a side Bud Light, and I don't Bud really Light that. is fucking Objection, bad. objection, Your Honor. Bud Light's the worst Objection, 40. Your Honor. No, it's the worst 40, so why would you get the this worst This is Bud Light Seltzer. No, this is totally different. No. No, Bud Light, Bud Light no. Because it's got we've Bud, talked about this. It's got we've Bud Light ago. on the name. We have discussed... That's Bud Light no, Seltzer. Because we and need I'm to talk to, about we've this. We've not talked about this Bud Light Seltzer, but we've talked about This is part of the trial. This is part of the trial. This is what we need to get around is the label Bud Light is on it. It needs – no, it's bad for you. If Bud Light is on it, I will not drink it. Simple as that. That's a if lie. You drink I can it, bring up an example. If you – I will never in my life ever drink it again. If I have, I did not mean to. If – I see you guys drinking it. I will shame you for it because Bud Light is bad for you. If I see any Bud Light on anything, that is all I'm saying. I've seen you drink. I haven't seen you drink, but you've said Ig- in the crew chat that you no. snuck a few Bud Lights because that's all that they had, quote unquote. Oh. That's all that they had. Yeah. And you snuck a few to your house. Yeah, but now I don't drink. That was in high school. No, no that ta- wasn't. That was when you were working your current job, and that was after high school. What are you school. talking about? What you were set up for a fucking wedding, dude. No, <laughs> okay, so, okay, no. That's so aggressive right there. No, so <laughs> because for he's a trying fucking to fucking wedding, deny- dude. <laughs> dude. He's just trying to Bro. deny it, but it ah! happened. You, you drank a few Bud Lights, and you took a few Bud Lights home. And you can't deny it. I also it. drank like eight Coors at that wedding, too. That's a lie. No, it's this not. This is a different it was, wedding. No, because this is awesome. At? No, it's a different no, wedding. No, it's a wedding that you set up for. Yeah, it was Austin's wedding. And you drank Bud Light. That I drank Coors, and then they ran out. And then and you drank I was Bud Light? so drunk, I drank Bud Light because I didn't taste it. He wasn't, a, he wasn't that's in a his thing. right mind. I was that's in my right mind. thing is I've, I've never drank right Bud mind. Light except for once, and everybody has to drink it once to realize it it's bad for you. bad. And I have never, even if I ran out of beer... Have ever just drank I tried a Bud shotgun Light. a Bud Light one time. That was oh, the first I time I ever tried it. I took one drink of it and I fucking puked. From here on out, I will never drink it again. And if I see any of you, I will shame you. Now, Wait, can Bud, Bud Light, Light seltzer is good though. I don't. Yes. No, they're yes. disgusting. Nev- no, no, no. I've you never are had the one. only person that's I've never had good. one. I was wondering if I've I never had a Bud Light. I've had a lot of beer in my life. Bud Light platinum is good. Yes. Well, it's it just depends on what it you like. It tastes totally different from regular Bud Light. It depends. So never have We have one in the fridge. Do you have a Bud Light seltzer? Yes, they're in the I fridge. I think we do. We should have a lemon lime. I want to try it. If not, I'm sorry. Then he drank them. Yeah, then I drank them. I think I drank it. Okay. But, Nasty. um... No, nah, dude, Bud Light, it depends on what you're into, really. Because, like, Bud Light Seltzer falls under, under like, the category of, like, white claws. No, it still has Bud trees. Light. That's I know, the but, dude, problem. I don't, I feel, I feel the problem. Don't you get feel me wrong, the problem and you're ignoring it. They're so good, though. Yeah, but when we first started out, none of this was, like, a thing. We were just, screw Bud Light, all around. And then out of nowhere, you guys were like... Platinum. Platinum. All right, maybe. True. And then the seltzer shit comes out, true. and you're we like, "Oh, it tastes good." It's like, no, nah, fuck Bud Light, all the way through, through. So, I think me and Cole just need to sit down here once he gets back. We need to discuss like if me and him are just gonna not this on Bud Light anymore because you know there's too many exceptions. Regular, I will say, fuck regular Bud Light day in and day out. Regular Bud Light, fuck that. Why would you drink regular Bud Light? If you're going to get a beer, I'd rather get Coors Light, Coors Banquet, Rolling Rock, Bush Light, Samuel Adams. I'd rather get 15 other beers. But if I want like a seltzer though, I'd rather get Bud Light seltzer over a White Claw, a Truly, and all those. And if I want to get hammered off a beer and drink like a hard beer that's going to get you liquored up... I'd rather drink a Bud Light Platinum than a Samuel Adams, personally. That's just me. So the discussion is here, Colton, is should me and you, since we have an exception, we have so many exceptions to the rules of Bud Light with lime. I'm not a Bud Light lime guy, personally. Are you a Bud Light lime guy? No. So, okay, we got the Bud Light Platinum. The only Bud Light I drink is Platinum. So we have the Bud Light Platinum. 
and the Bud Light seltzers. I like the seltzers, you like the platinum. I've never bought platinums, though. I've only ever drank I've them. bought seltzers. I won't lie. I have bought some seltzers. Now, I like seltzers. So the debate here is, is like, so are you asking us to be more direct in our fuck Bud Light quotes? Should we be fuck regular Bud Light? Yes. No, okay, so every time we say it, we say fuck Bud Light. Yeah, the company. The it's company. Not, that no, the whole Bud Light. So Bud Light is not a company. It's Bush. But it is Bush. every time you it's say Budweiser, actually. But what do you? No, it's Bush. Bush. It's Bush. Here's my thing. It's what, you say, I'm what do you say? What do you say? It's on the. What, my mom had a pack of Bud Light today and asked me if I want some. I said no, and it said Bush on the can. So yeah, it's Bush. It's a Bush company. No. Do you drink Bush? Okay. No. What do you say? Bush? What do you say before platinum? What do you say before platinum? What? What do you say before platinum? Bud Light. What do you say before seltzer? seltzer. Bud Light. What exactly. You, what it's so all say, one company. So, so we have to say Bud regular Light. Bud Light before we say fuck No, we Bud can't Light. just say regular Bud Light. We just no. say Bud, fuck Bud Light. But Bud, Bud, Bud Light. Light's a whole different thing than Bud no. Light Platinum or when Bud we, Light. When we originally stated this, we said fuck Bud yeah, Light. As this a whole is, because before any of this, none of us ever drank a Platinum. None of us. Exactly. And then exactly. seltzer was never a thing. Thank you. But we were saying fuck Bud Light. The whole corporation. The whole thing. It's not a corporation. It's and just And then a out brand. of nowhere, you guys go and fucking dip your little fucking dirty fingers in this Bud Light Platinum. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, and you're I've like, never oh. had a Bud Light in my life. Bad. What is Bud Light? Good bad. Baby. What is Bad Light? It's bad for you. What's Bud Light? Bad Light. What's Bud Light? Disgusting. It's bad for you. Post Malone oh, drinks it. Yeah, but Post Malone. Yeah, but look what Post Malone is. He just pass out on you know, stage a couple if, weeks if ago. If I ever see the limited edition with There's Post Malone's face on it, it, I'm going to buy it. I won't buy it, and I won't drink we'll it, but I'll keep the can. And, uh, actually, yeah, I'll go with that. And we can like talk that. about this, too, as we've talked about this. Post Malone has been the exception, exception for Bud Light. And we have had a whole trial agreement. There's only been six We had a crew town. If you get the limited edition Post Malone. Shut the fuck up. No, there's only 600 cans. They're probably out of 600 cans by now. No, they're doing it over a span of two years. Oh, 600 go- cans. Golden ticket. That's what I'm saying. Now, who... Like, we had a crew township meeting, and out of all of us, you need at least... Let's see how many people are here right now. Six. <laughs> we need at least five, six people to agree on this. Post Malone's the one pass of the Bud Light rule. Everybody that agrees, say aye. 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 Alright, yeah, so Cameron didn't balls. say it. Or did he say it? I don't know. No. Cameron don't like Post Malone. Yeah. Cameron don't kill him. That's why I said 5'6", because I knew Cameron was. Cameron's, like Cameron's in his own way. little world with Stevie. He's not even here. Yeah, he's in my know. room, he's chilling, he's I sleeping. Know, but that's the thing. He's just big chilling, living his own life. Wow. So, the crew yeah. trial got a little heated. But when we come back, we're going to be playing a little bit of a game. It's game hour here on the Crewcast. You are listening to Crewcast number 26. Damn, another hour. And we're back for the closing segment of the Crewcast. Again, if you are a business or something and you want to sponsor the Crewcast, email me at trevanp at gmail.com. That's C-R-E-V-A-N-P at gmail.com. So, of course, this is the game hour where we play a little bit of a game with the boys. Today, we are playing Would You Rather. Now, we paired off in duos, so today, uh, me and Colger are a duo, Barn and Fitz are a duo, and Cameron and Jameson are a duo. Now, I'm going to start things off with Fitz and Barn, because Barn said he had a great one for Fitz, and I'm just eager to hear it. So, Barn, fire away, buddy. Okay, Bryce, would you rather never meet Larry, or let Larry smash you once to meet him? Wouldn't he be meeting him already? Wait, like, like, what do you like, mean by he, smash? Like, 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 he, Larry to... has to insert you from you <laughs> Would you rather never... So the question is, would you rather never meet Larry Fitzgerald or the only way you meet him is if you guys have sexual intercourse and <laughs> you're on bottom? At least once. And you're on bottom. And you're on bottom. Yeah, you're definitely on bottom. <laughs> uh, you could hang out a couple times. But you after. at least have to smash once. Like, it has to be after. Nope. 
How about lifelong I'll friends? I'll never meet him. Lifelong friends. Because <laughs> I've went to a game, and I've been like 30 feet from him. Good enough. Larry! Yeah. Larry! <laughs> I fucking love you! I love you, bro! So you would not take Larry's dick in your no. ass in order to beat him? I'll just go to a game. Do you know how it. much bragging rights you'd have on the internet? No, that fuck so Larry fits. But it would ruin, tarnish Larry's name. Dude, do you know how hard, <laughs> how hard would you be if you walked into a hotel room and Larry's wearing nothing but his jersey? Just the socks no. on his cock. Nope. I'm out. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a long Nike socks. And that shit's fucking full, too. No. Nike Elite. That ain't uh-huh. coming off. You stop as nah. a fucking gummy I'll just bear. go to games and watch from up in the stands. 30, 40 feet away. Oh, good. That was a good question, Bart. That was good. It was not bad at all. All right, Fitz. What is your question? I don't Barnish? have one yet for Gary. God damn it. Of course. So I might just come back. Did you know that Barnish hook you or if you like one? I have one. All right, so we're going to go over to me and Colge. I have one for Colge as well. Colge, open up. Okay, Tree. Would you rather, and this is one that we always ask in the crew, so would you rather... Watch your parents have sex uh, every single so day for the rest of your life, or join in once to make it stop. <laughs> I'm gonna title the video of this. We played what? Dude, I think we did this all right in a past crew cast. I feel yeah. like we have. Yeah, I feel like. So I, you might as well just answer it then. Yeah. Okay. I was say, See if your answer matches up. For the rest of my life. So I gotta, I gotta put out like. Every single day. So I have to, I have to like, I have to like set up a time frame, like, like at six thirty every day. I gotta watch my parents. Not have even. Sex. So what time will it be? Random time. Random time. So, so it's not a watch. set schedule. Man, no. it's random the only, the only, the only set schedule is, is it's Monday through Sunday. And it's at least an hour. An hour. Whoa, an hour. No. My dad saying, ain't lasting an hour. I'm just saying dude. you have to watch the whole. Sexual well, scene. Like, well, like, let's say insert you just to accidentally end. open their door. Okay. And they're making out. And no, it's just I don't straight think up my parents insert, even kiss anymore. Insert. <laughs> and you have to wait until finish. Okay, so there's some st- stipulations here. So now, how long are they fucking on average? There's no minutes. average. Dude, give minutes. me. Well, give te- me an technically, average. there's an average. I would say like, ten minutes. Thirty. Ten minutes. You know, 30. like sometimes, like they'll last like an hour, because like yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that. like average it out, and then sometimes they'll last like five minutes. I mean, it's yeah. just different. So thirty minutes. Time. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes is the average. No, average, damn, average, average is like James strong. My parents even watch. Average is like probably like ten minutes. Average ten minutes. Honestly, my average is like thirty. You would get to a point where you just start giving tips. <laughs> It'd be hella cool. It'd probably be like ten minutes. You'd probably learn something. Go down, average, go. So the average is ten <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it's like this way. It's like it's like this like your fuck, man. Average is ten minutes. <laughs> and, and, there's no, and there's no there's no set time. Hair and fuck. No, so sometimes you're going to five minutes, sometimes you're going to No, I'm talking like in the day, like there's no, so like, so like say I'm at work and it's like 2 p.m. and I gotta fucking leave you work to go watch my parents in, fuck. Like, let's say you accidentally walk into the yeah, bathroom just, at the wrong time at work and they're just yeah. having sex. Okay. Alright, so... I need to know the time, dude. Is it like in no? The there's no time. It's just... No, like it just happens. Like, okay. like you have no control. Like you just walk and I have into to a watch room the whole and you the have whole to thing. watch the yeah. whole thing. And let's say like you walk into a room and it's like start to finish. <sighs> I'd rather watch ten minutes. Ten minutes on average. I'm not saying it's like ten minutes every single day. I know, but ten on minutes average, on average, or just yeah. join in once. I ain't no. I, no, no, I ain't doing that. I, you are all fucked. So you, you'd you rather diff- watch for the rest of your life. You'd rather join in. So what's in? worse? What's worse? You'd rather well, I'm not saying. I'm not. That's ain't my question. I'm not going to answer this. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm it's like you're so you'd rather, my answer. So you would rather watch it for the rest of your life for ten minutes instead of do it one time and just get it over with. One time and then for an hour. One time. Yeah, and just get yeah, it over so. with. I would rather Trevon, watch my, my name's Trayvon. I'm, <laughs> I'm Trayvon. I'm gonna go. I'm my that. name's Trayvon. I'm gonna fuck my mom today. <laughs> no, I would <laughs> much rather <laughs> watch my parents <laughs> than do that. No. Honestly, like just watch for the rest of my life. I'd rather do that than just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> so, after we got done with that <laughs> fucked up question, which... Can I survey the room? Sure. <laughs> no. Colge, what's your answer to that? I'd rather just watch for the rest of Fit. my life. I would watch. Dude, I would I would just laugh would so sucks. hard watching Brick and Kelly have sex. Yeah. Uh, God damn it, move your fucking leg. <laughs> Bard? I just end a misery. <laughs> <laughs> bam. Dude. This guy said bam. Dude. Literally in the misery and then cap yourself. Because <laughs> I don't want to live with that shit. I'll just kill myself before I did it. <laughs> Fuck that me. Too. That's Fuck me. I'll just kill myself. I'm not watching it or I'll doing it. Part part like, I'll kill there ain't myself. no option. I'm well, you're already myself. there. You're forced all to right, decide. All right, all right. Come. Yeah, so I'm killing Barn, myself. Barnes dead ass. I would just cap myself after. Well, you're already there. You're, you're like, I don't want to die a virgin. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not that. But no. I'm just saying. Like, I would That's just, so fucked up. You, fucked before shit. you kill yourself, no. you just fucking then kill yourself. I'll just... <laughs> his whole fucking his whole bitch where he is he yeah. fucked his mom and then kept himself <laughs> that's fucked up <laughs> oh. right, Cameron bon, uh, Jameson would you rather be <laughs> no 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 no, no. My, mine's for Jameson answer it yeah you're no. oh, my answer it. Oh, yeah. my, I'm, I'm killing myself before I do it. You have to choose one. Am I, am you I literally, choosing? that's what I'm saying. You have to choose and then you decide your fate after that. Like, yeah, I gotta, you have you to choose have one to or choose. the other. I got a question That's for the thing. Now. Okay, I gotta do my question for Cole, but you gotta answer it. I mean, we've all answered it. Well, I can't. Like, you have to... I like, can't either. That's the yeah, thing. I, it's like, I, I can't. can't. You can't choose. That's, hard off. that's true. Jameson and Cameron do. Like, that's just taking the easy way... I can't. That's like taking the easy way out. You're just like... Oh, I'm just not gonna do it. It's Why like, fit? No, Why but, but yeah. it's an either or. Like yeah, you have Bart. to choose, and then you can decide your fate. Yeah, afterwards. but I physically can't though, because mine are dead. Yeah, this is hypothetical. Bro. I know, but I mean, I know it's hypothetical. But I just watch. I just watch. I wouldn't do it. Just watch. I wouldn't do either of them. Watch. There's watch. no hypothetical. Right. Jameson, Jameson capped it off with saying he'd watch. All right, so. Treat. That's what it is. Question now. All right, my question for Colge. Would you rather? And I, I don't want no bullshit in this answer because I know I know the easy way out, and I want I want the real answer. Okay. <laughs> would you rather dump your load, no, knowing you wouldn't get a bitch pregnant, in a tender thought seven days a week, or hang out with the boys seven days a week? Hang out with the boys. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm a hundred percent. It's either No, because you're trying to leave early to go smash. <laughs> yeah. You're a liar right there. I'm just saying, like, it's either or. Yeah, either or. So I'm saying, life, so, okay, I'm saying, here's my question now. Let me my rephrase, boys mean more Let me rephrase it. Would you rather dump a load in a Tinder thought seven days a week or hang out with your boys seven days a week, but if you hang out with your boys seven days a week, then you die a virgin? Yeah, hang out with my boys. 100%. Yeah, I'm glad. Like that that's no cap like if I can only choose one cuz then you won't have any friends. Sorry, yeah, boys. Dude, no, I'm going to have no, hoses I'm for just saying life. I'm just saying I'm just saying like my boys mean everything to me. Fuck, dude. I'd rather just fucking jerk off for the rest of my life. No, yeah, being a Paul solid. I agree. Okay, survey quick oh, survey of the room. Uh, Col- uh Bryce? Yeah, I, I agree. You'd rather I'd, do be, I'd rather be with the boys. Well, Colton, you're because yeah, like, boys. boys. Barn. <laughs> you guys are already living the life. Sorry, yeah. boys, but I'm hitting the bitches. How did I know <laughs> you were going to say that? Jameson. The boys. I'm choosing the boys as well. All right. Um, and then we never we never, uh, we never, never got to survey the room on uh, Barn's question, so Colt would you rather fuck <laughs> Larry one time to be hold on hold on who's your favorite player like it has to be like your favorite player like, like it's gotta be I, so I feel like I, feel like I, I don't have a favorite player no, really. so, so it's oh so it's like I've never met Moss <laughs> like personally alright how about Big Ben fucking big motherfucker I'd rather just watch him who's your would you let Derek Henry or Marshawn Lynch fuck you if you could dude, hang out dude I'd be some day? bigger as bullshit <laughs> I would just not meet him fuck it I'd let Gardner fuck me because I feel yeah, like yeah Gardner would make love shit. dude imagine Beast Mode or fucking DH nah. that's Absolutely. true Gardner is a crazy ass. bastard high on cocaine just or you go on your ass yeah true. Just I'll just, I'll just never meet him 
I've already met him actually, yeah. so that's I didn't even have to fuck him. Gardner would, <laughs> Gardner would make love. Yeah, Gh would just pull. fucking. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, I was just saying like Bryce or fucking no, you I met Jameson. Like you don't fuck, you just make love. Yeah, but even a dog ass, I just kiss her and get a kiss in. All right, Never. so we're circling around back to Fitz. Fitz, what is your question to Barnhouse? All right, Barn. <laughs> Would you rather have a prolific wrestling career what? as the Flying Fridge Ooh. with Gary Barnage as a tag team, or have a chance for the Browns to be in the playoffs seven out of the next ten years? That's a good one, dude. Mm. That's a good one. I think I'd rather do the Flying Fridge with Gary Barnage. Because that would be dope. Just like... Dude, me and Barnage would fucking... <laughs> Barnage and Barnage. Okay, okay but I gotta, I gotta... The Barnage brothers. Austin Barnage and Gary Barnage. <laughs> so, so, okay, I got a good question for... I think, you know, us three, we're probably the most diehard football fans. Oh. Would you rather never jerk off again if it means your team only wins one game a year for the rest of your life? I mean, would you rather jerk off for the rest of your life and your team only wins one game a year for the rest of your life or never jerk off again and your team wins one Super Bowl? When's it going to happen? The next year. Are you going to wipe your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's the man from soup. That's not real. You'd, you'd never jerk off ever again. Yeah. I can see I'm Bryce doing it. Because he's going to get pussy. Mm. I'm all in because Larry. <laughs> Larry, Larry, is Larry, that Larry, she is. She's like, where are you at? And that means he'll probably still be on the roster between the next year. All right. It's easy. <laughs> Barn? <laughs> I'd jerk it. I, I mean, I'm already in the pit of misery. I'll just stay there. <laughs> all right. It's my luck. And to cap off the Would You Rather tournament, we got Cam and Jameson. Who wants to go first? Oh, I can't go first. Jamie, would you be better at football or basketball? I'm better at football. That's not a would you rather question. Oh, like, like, like would yeah, I rather like, play football? Or no, would you rather be better at football or would you rather be better at basketball? Like now? Yeah, like, like what, would like you... Like a pro athlete. Yeah, like, would you... Would like, you rather go pro in football or basketball? Yeah. Mm, I'd rather go pro basketball. Why? You get more money and it's harder to get in the NBA. That's and you can play a lot more much games. harder to get they in the They literally NBA. draft 32 But people. you can play in so many different minor leagues. That's, that's not, not the NBA, NBA though. though. That's yeah, not the NBA. But it's, it's so much look, harder. Look how many NBA NBA people are in the NFL. It's the hardest league to get into. It's look the how many people are in the NFL. I have seen people who have sat down there for 10 years to get their first start on their NBA team. Like, they sit down in the, like, development. But at least there's a fucking developmental league in the NFL. It's either you're good or you're not. Yeah. MLB, yeah. though. Which is good that they have, be... like, an XFL kind of thing. That's, I hope it That's lasts. why I'm saying, like, the MLB and the NBA is dope, because you have so many, like, yeah. minor league systems. There's no farm system in the NFL. No. It's way harder to make it. Yeah, but you're not a pro it. unless you're playing in the pro no, league. No, it is not. Yeah. NBA is the hardest league <laughs> to make it in professional. <laughs> they draft 32 people. They literally have like combines for NFL and shit. I mean, I, I, I guess NBA I, too. I agree with Jameson. Only, but each team only has, I think, like, May max 15. It's ridiculous. Like, that shit's hard as fuck. You gotta be good. Alright, and to cap off the Would You Rather hour, and we're an hour into the podcast, Jameson, ask Cameron your question. Cam. Oh, okay, hold on. Survey the room. Cold, would you rather go pro in the NBA or the NFL? NFL. Easy. Because that's just straight up baller status. That's Facts. true. Either way. Fits. I would go. I want to be in the NFL because I feel like I could get somebody with my moves. I really that's do. true. He does have dirty moves. Barn. I just want to see how it goes. I'd rather go NBA because even though I'm not like a huge NBA fan, I'd rather go NBA because it'd be better on my body. That's true. Long term and more money and I feel like with my body size, I'd be more of like a Shaq person. So it'd just be kind of fun. I feel like I don't have fun in the league. You could be a tight end, though, Barn. Yeah, but fuck, my body you get beat the shit out of. Yeah, but you don't have to play for long. You just got to be prolific for a couple of years. Yeah. All right, hey. Cam, what would you rather do? Football for sure. All right. And Jameson, to cap off, 
What's your would you rather question to Cameron? Okay. Cameron, did you ever play Street? Yeah. Okay. Were you, were you a big fan of it? Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have them remake another Street? With the current roster, and you can do, you know, past roster and those oh. and shit. And, you know, they do a bunch of cool shit like drafts and stuff like that. Or, I never, just, I never really got to. Or would you rather have... Call of Duty make another Call of Duty just as good as the best one. I yeah. Call of Duty. I have them remasters oh, too. I thought you loved Call of Duty. For I do, but I'm like, I don't, it's not my favorite game to play. What's your favorite game to play? I really don't have a favorite game. I just I only play them because I'm bored. <laughs> or would you rather win in Warzone I can't every golf. time? Huh? Or would you rather become win Warzone every time? A new street or win Warzone every time? Mm-hmm. Or or would you rather win Fortnite every match or, or would you rather win Warzone every match? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I'd rather win Fortnite every match because you can make so much money doing that. <laughs> Stream. Oh, yeah. I'll just do that. And they probably can make more. You could probably make money making winning Warzone too. But Fortnite's more popular right now. For more more popular, so I can just go up there quick. All right, survey the room. Cold. Would you rather win every game of Fortnite or every game of Warzone? Play Warzone. I've never played Warzone, but I feel like it's harder to win. Fits. Mm, I'd rather do Fortnite, make all that money, and just grind. I play a lot of it already, so might as well. Barn? For, because Warzone, I don't see Warzone having a long future, and Fortnite's already proven that it's going to be here for a long time, and Warzone is already has a bunch of hackers and stuff in it, so if you won every match, GG's, like, you can beat Hacker with uh, auto aim and shit. Yeah, so. and you can't hack on Fortnite or you get banned, yep. and you get found out and Real quick. Because so. Call of Duty didn't upload any anti-hacking software to Warzone. Because they're like, oh, it's a free game. We don't care. Have fun. I honestly can't play Warzone unless I have my Call of Duty game and my Xbox, which I think is weird. All right. Disc copy. To end this video, I'm going to do a rapid would you rather question to the rest of the people. I didn't ask a would you rather question to, and you just got to answer it right off the dome. Bing, bang, boom. Barn. Yeet. Would you rather win every single game of Fortnite you ever play, or, and you know, p- get streaming money, but you only get a thousand followers maxed out? That's all you get. That ain't shit. And you only get two followers. <laughs> I mean, you you get like three people loyal that donate to every stream, but it's never more than fifty bucks. And that's your career, and you're hustling, but you never get past that, or work a full time job and make nine bucks an hour. For the rest of your life. I'd rather do the streaming. Because, like, I, I would love to do that anyways. And, fuck okay. it. Fuck the the oh. fan base is what it's for. Like, I, I, I watch KWR, Speedy, and, like, Deluxe 4 and them. And, like, the max viewers they get, like, daily is, like, Speedy gets, like, 5,000. But, like, that ain't really that much for top viewers. But, like, Deluxe 4 and them, they get, like, 500 viewers. And I love those dudes. All right, Bryce, would you rather never smoke weed or take dabs ever again or never drink another glass of Mountain Dew? Uh, uh, you can give up the weed. Yeah, probably the weed. No, I don't need the Mountain Dew, too. i got to give up either eventually. Well, okay. anyway, <laughs> my health's going to be like, yeah. you know what? You can't have either. So. Well, but uh, I'll probably do weed. Jameson? Would you rather show up to work blackout and drunk every day or, or, or hemp fest high every day? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Dude, that's good. Yeah. I would... I'd probably just blackout work because I get paid still, so I'd probably just work blackout. You'd rather work blacked out than hemp fest high? Why, why couldn't you work out... Why couldn't you work hemp fest high? Be, I can't work there. I don't work there. Huh? <laughs> what? No, no work like, like, like how how you were a hemp. Would you rather show up to Winco to work? Oh, drunk. as high as you were at hemp fest, or, or blackout, or blackout drunk. drunk. I'd rather be high as a motherfucker, dude. I'd, that'd be fun. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like I'd be dancing and fucking cool. Dude. 
I, I was dancing like a motherfucker when we went up there. This band was playing, I was like, this shit's ass. And like 30 minutes later after the edibles kick in, I'm like, okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Dude, there's like people that were just fucking like up there. Yeah, the guys just, dancing. Just yeah. dancing, they're just moving around and shit. I'm like, damn. No, Barefoot. Like, Chew. Just for showing ass. And... But they, they the one thing that suck is they, they didn't really have food up there. No. They didn't have no burritos. They had edibles. They should have had some funnel cake, man. Dude, if someone was barbecuing, I'd fucking buy it. Okay. Can I had a lot of shalaba cheese on it. <laughs> the last would you rather question for Cameron is would you rather get laid for the rest of your life, but every single girl you're fucking is over 330 pounds and is a two, or <laughs> maybe a three once in a while? <laughs> Solid. Die a virgin. Fuck. Pussy, pussy. Yep, exactly. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck, yeah. yeah. I don't blame you, Cameron. Fat bitches need... Okay, how about this? Too. How about, how about, would you rather, would, would you rather fuck a two every day of your life, or the only time you have sexual interaction... Okay, let me, re sorry, that rephrase, rephrase, wrong. rephrase. Okay, number twos, seven days a week. But the only thing they do is give you foot jobs. <laughs> the only sexual interaction you have is with overweight bitches and their twos, and it's only with their feet. They jerk you off with your feet. That's what a foot job, yeah. Yeah, but... or die a virgin. Fuck, I just get a foot job. <laughs> we don't jerk myself off. Fuck you mean. <laughs> the only <laughs> so I knew I knew for well, Bryce I, I knew though. exactly what I was asking for everybody else and like I just wanted to fucking figure out a sex question where I can get Cam to say die a virgin because I knew that there was There's something up there. There, there, there I had to go I had to go that. real extreme in order for Cam to say he dude died you never know that they might be good with their feet man <laughs> I got no foot fetish no foot down near my dick shout out to Trey if he's watching I'm gonna go check out some foot porn in a minute you're weird. My, my girl. Dude, imagine they shove your, their fucking foot up your ass, dude. Fuck, I kill. I, God damn, I what's up with you? What's up with you? I have, 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 have a girl in this episode. Cats, cats and dude, now her foot. Have her foot. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, like both thank you for right, tuning into the. Yeah. Uh, this is late night too. We were right, we recorded. All right, all right, all right. We recorded this at like midnight, so it's real late night. And we're trying to uh, we get this podcast time. done, and we've, we've definitely had a couple of drinks in our system, but that's going to do it for the <laughs> crew cast episode number 26. I don't know, every time Jameson comes here, it brings out the raunchy side in everybody. Um, for me, make sure you check on links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon. Make sure you watch every single video. Cole, any final words you want to say to the people? I just want you guys to have the best day of your life. I know Cole is going to have a real good night because he's about to get laid after this podcast is over. No, Fitz, what's your final words? Go hit them disc golf courses out there. COVID-19 might you know prevent what? that. You know what? You know, exactly. You know, COVID-19, they say stay inside, but that means everybody's inside. So clear courses. Go <laughs> clear courses. Barn? Full, so uh, yeah, eat uh. and have a good one. And also stay tuned for the In the Party chat. We'll discuss it after the podcast. Cam! Yeah. yeah that would be your last word. Barn! I mean, James. Sorry. Last yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you guys for listening to the podcast. Mom and Dad, I'm sorry you had to hear me answer that question. Have a great rest of your night.